Hello and welcome my lovely Taurus friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. So this reading is for if you have Taurus in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node, or if there's a Taurus in your life that you're hoping to maybe gain some understanding of what could be going on with them energetically. These readings are meant to be timeless, meaning that I trust in the divine timing that when you come across them is when you're meant to. And I just ask that more than anything else, you'd be willing to open your heart space really listen to your intuition above everything else because that is your greatest guide and teacher in fact why i love tarot so much is it gives you a chance to connect with your intuition it gives you a chance to hear what comes up within your heart to connect with your soul i don't use it as a tool to predict the future i feel like there's so many possibilities based on choices destiny things beyond our understanding okay so taurus I am a Taurus sun sign myself, so I'm always super uh, feeling super connected to these readings too here. Okay, what is the highest message for us today? We've got the trust card. What I'm feeling the most with this coming out today is trust that everything is working out. Trust that your seeds have been planted well. Trust that your dreams have meaning that the universe feels and hears them. Trust. Trust yourself. Uh, trust your own decision making. Okay, let's see what the book has to say about it. Believe in yourself and have faith that God and the angels are with you. Ask them to help the sorry, ask them to help you lose the fears that block you from enjoying full faith. Your angels know that you've been disappointed in the past. These experiences may have eroded your faith in yourself, other people, or even God. However, the angels remind you of the importance of holding on to your faith. By drawing this card, the angels emphasize the value of self-trust. They know that you, like everyone, have made mistakes in the past. However, these mistakes have not eroded your true nature. You still have omnipresent God within you, and God is infallible. The angels ask you to trust God and to trust in them. They will help you trust yourself. Okay, that's a really powerful message, I would say, start of the day. That's a big one. Okay, Taurus, let's get some cards from the tarot deck. Thank you so much for joining me. It means a lot to me. I love to do these readings for you. Wouldn't be possible if you weren't spending your precious time with me. I don't take that lightly. Take a few deep breaths. <sighs> Loud exhale. Do that a couple times. Let your lungs fill all the way up. <sighs> this relieves stress. This clears your energy. It helps you become more of an open channel so good for your health to take big deep breaths which we so often don't do i appreciate all the likes the shares the comments the passing the messages on to other people so that they can receive them it means a lot to me okay the first card we have out is the renewal card major arcana here the 20 card then we have the Ten of Air or the Ten of Swords. We have the Two of Wands or the Two of Fire. At the heart of the reading, we have the Eight of Earth or the Eight of Pentacles. What a beautiful heart of the reading in green heart chakra color as well. Nine of Wands or Nine of Fire. Four of Swords or Four of Air. And then the Queen of Water or the Queen of Cups. Oh, I love it. And one more popped out even though I don't usually take an extra and it's the Six of Air. And that's going over top of the nine of fire. Okay, let's start with this renewal card. So like, just take that deep breath. Like things are being renewed. There's a sense of fresh energy coming in. It's, uh, it, for some of you, it can be like, this renewal could be moving in a new direction, but it just feels fresh. It feels good. It feels lighter to me. This energy feels lighter and it feels better. So the Ten of Air, it doesn't surprise me that we have the Ten of Swords here because that kind of represents an ending and then this fresh start. So some chapter comes to an end 
for some of you, this may have been a difficult chapter that comes to an end, but here you are embracing change and expecting things to get better. This energy of you expecting things to get better, I can't even express to you how powerful that is because you, when you feel like things are getting better, you're also manifesting things getting better. It's about uh, letting yourself feel the way that you want to feel, even before maybe you see it, right? Like that's through your real pain your real power, your real faith. I want to say power and faith at the same time. So you could be recovering from this chapter of your life or recovering from this situation, but here you go, this fresh new air, this renewal, this favorable path, this favorable assessment of things, feeling really good. The two of wands, this is you blossoming into your own. I want you to think of like, you're just allowing that fire within you to shine. You're allowing yourself to really be who you are unapologetically. You may be uh, having new people come into your life. This can mean new partnerships. This card also appeared in the Aries reading, I believe. So if you have Aries in your chart, you might want to watch that. For me, the combination of the signs makes much more sense than just the narrow only your sun sign. So if you start to understand your different signs and combine them, I feel like you get a bigger picture. You get a better understanding of even yourself personally. Um, so this is you, Taurus, continuing to move forward. And then at the heart of this reading, it's like all of your skills are rewarded. And by skills, I can mean to like your inner work on yourself, your inner decision to see things in a fresh light, to be willing to keep moving forward, to be willing to take new directions. For some of you, the Eight of Pentacles can be like, you're going to study something new. Maybe you're going to do, you're going to go back to school, or maybe you're going to do a new job, or just learn about a topic that you love so much. This past year, I've been learning about sourdough, and it makes me really happy. So whatever it is, try to make it something that brings you joy. But here with the eight of pentacles, like people are recognizing your, all the skills that you possess and it's beautiful. It's like, I want you to think of this beautiful glowing light that, uh, that comes from you that other people sense the nine of fire with the six of swords together. So here you are not giving up. You're protecting what's important to you. You're protecting what you've created. You're being courageous. You're believing in yourself. This trusting yourself card really goes hand in hand. So stepping into the energy of I trust myself. I believe in myself. The six of air is like, okay, and then things look up. Things Again, that end of anything difficult, that end of maybe a difficult chapter, end of a difficult situation. For some of you, though, the six of air could be taking a trip. Maybe you're going to travel somewhere. So start looking. Doesn't mean like step one, start looking at where you'd like to travel. It could be a surprise that enters your life, but look at pictures of where it is you want to travel. Look at the flights. Look up the flights. How much do they cost? Like start letting the universe like get those wheels turning if the travel feels true for you here um but yeah like think of it like this bright sunny spot in your life to look forward to usually the anticipation of something brings us even more joy than doing it so even if you don't know when this trip is going to be but if this traveling is important to you start looking at it let yourself anticipate it in your heart okay this is step one of manifesting something for yourself the four of air, the four of swords, taking a rest, taking a vacation. I really feel like some of you need this enjoyment, need this vacation, need this downtime. And I know for me personally, I need to get out of my home, get out of my space because if I'm here, which I love my home, I love to be home, <coughs> excuse me. But if I don't get out of this space, then all the chores, my normal chores, the laundry, the cleaning, the making dinner, all of that, like it still happens. So even if you have a day off, it doesn't feel like you've really had a break or a rest sometimes. So, but allow yourself and you can be allowing yourself more time, but if you're making a decision. So if you're heading in a new direction, which is awesome, and you're willing to re like be in that fresh new energy of re renewing, reviewing, evaluating things, 
let yourself have some time. Let yourself meditate because oftentimes that provides answers. If you don't like meditation, just go for a quiet walk without electronics uh, or just don't let yourself look at them for a while. Let yourself have some quiet, unstructured time without the electronics. Things will come through you. The Queen of Cups, I love the Queen of Cups. Just such beautiful energy, such empathetic, really uh, tender-hearted, patient, loving energy. I love this for you. I really feel like this is such a powerful place to be. Um, this can be, if you have relationships around you, like really them developing to a new, deeper level that feels so loving. Um, it's you trusting your intuition too. So not only trusting yourself, but trusting your intuition. There are some people in this world that I admire that they 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 get an intuitive hit and like they don't need to question it. They just listen to it. They just follow it. And sometimes it seems like a crazy move and it's meant all the difference in their life. Um, it kind of reminds me of the story I love, Ina Garten, and I am reading her book, um, Be Ready When the Luck Happens. Her buying the store Barefoot Contessa was almost impulsive, but I feel like she was listening to her intuition and that changed everything for her. So this is you caring for yourself though, really taking care of yourself, giving yourself that beautiful, loving, your cups are full energy, Taurus. Okay, I hope you got some messages that really helped you here. Know that I'm sending you so much love and I truly appreciate you. Have a beautiful day and I will see you again soon. Happy October.